Welcome to Work Smarter, Make YouTube Captions Work For You. I'm Liz Jones. I'm teaching a free course if you'd like to sign up below, but if not, I've learned that for me personally, I can create videos, especially on TikTok, way faster than I can write. I just tend to get too into my head. When I sit down to actually write, my thoughts explode in a million directions. I just have too much in my brain at one time. So what I've been trying to do also is build several YouTube channels. This saves me a lot of time because it's way faster than a can of book. What I've been doing for a while, as I build my YouTube channel, I just make a, a video to create written content for books, blog posts, and courses. I use YouTube captions and let me show you exactly what I mean. This is my main YouTube login. I'm gonna to go to YouTube Studio. I'm gonna go over here on the left side. If you'll see this, it's called Subtitles. And there are other ways to get to it, but this is what I like to do. This is the one I'm talking about. Monetize your online following with YouTube. It has two languages. I, I'm not going to get into that. I don't know why. It's probably something I did. But right here where it says automatic, this is how their captions work. They don't show up immediately. Like I uploaded this like eight hours ago. So it had time. Now, don't click on this one. If it says publish ad, this is where they want you to add your own subtitles. It says published automatic. When I go to duplicate and edit, there are my captions. And it also gives you ways you can edit the timing of your captions. You can edit anything you want. But I'm not going to worry about any of that. I'm going to click in here where all this text is. I'm just going to click somewhere. I'm going to hit Control A to select all. Then Control C. And I'm going to paste it all just into one document. as a Google Doc. Aha. Look at all that. Wow. Of course, it's not edited. It's a lot to do here. But that's a lot of notes. Let's see. First, let me show you. And this is important. First, let me show you tool word count. I want to see exactly how many words this is. Wow, 3,857 words. That's actually a pretty good size book or blog post or whatever. But I hope some of you watching this will see the value in what I just did. It's only 2,500 words minimum for a Kindle ebook. Of course, you can go longer than that. This is why I think this is a great method for pretty much writing anything. Yeah, you have to clean things up, but it gives you a great starting point. And I'm not going to go through the whole process of <laughs> you watching me clean this up. I'm going to do that off camera. Now, it didn't hit me until I started putting this together. A lot of people aren't going to understand the value in this. You're going to look at this and say, oh, there's still work to do. You could have done this without YouTube. No, I'm just going to tell you, as someone who's written books, you cannot underestimate the value of a first draft. It is so much easier to have a draft of something that you have to change than having to do it all from scratch. First, I want to address another objection that I think people will have. If you've never done this before, if you think, you know, why are you going to put this in a blog post? Or why am I talking about putting in an ebook or course? Can't somebody just go to my TikTok channel and read it? Or listen to the video? Why would they pay for that? Or download it for free? Something I'm going to do another video about, and I'm going to be talking about a lot, is it doesn't matter. Honestly, if somebody wanted to, they could just transcribe, just like this, all of their YouTube videos into ebooks and put them in Amazon and just say, Hey, to support this channel, go buy that ebook. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that ethically. People do this all the time. There are people who publish books um, that are just their old blog post. Some people, even if you tell them that up front, that's what it is. You know what? You can get the same thing for free by watching my YouTube channel. They don't care. They still want it. Maybe they just like you. Anyway, there's nothing wrong with this at all. And the reason I say that is because I have some people who I know have just never done this before. Um, anyway, it's just a different mindset. There is nothing at all wrong with this. I think I'm going to try something different today, though, because this is a first draft. So today I decided to use this method for my second draft as well. And... It's already saved me a lot of time. What I did, those notes that you saw me paste into Google Doc, I put, took the same notes and pasted them into my Apple Notes. And I am currently um, just adding some where some new paragraphs would go, but it's, it's more just so I know what I'm going to talk about. Now, this method might not work for a lot of people. In fact, there was a time when I definitely couldn't have written anything this way, but my brain has changed. My attention span has changed. I used to not be able to talk anything out loud and try to write it. Now that I've gotten used to doing TikTok videos, it's for me, this whole method is more about organizing my thoughts because I'm also trying to build a YouTube channel and just use the same content without having to rewrite everything. Um, so what I'm doing right now, everything you see in this Google Doc, this is a new one I started. This is, I read out loud from my phone and not everything, just sort of my second draft notes. Oh my goodness, but I can't tell you. I mean, as someone who has written books, both fiction and nonfiction, it is just so much easier because I don't know what it is. My brain likes making the videos more. I like explaining things to people. Doing this made my brain package it in a way that I couldn't have done otherwise. I think it's just knowing that I was going to put it on YouTube that day and I have people waiting for this free course I'm teaching. It just made me do it. Instead of making you watch this whole thing, I might... um I'm probably going to publish this to Amazon later in another session. Okay, there's a sign up below link. Even if you're already in my free course, go ahead to get your free account here. And when they say forever free, no credit card required, they are correct. You can upgrade your account, but they give you more than enough tools to make money with the free account. 
So anyway, enter your email address and get your free account. Okay, this is my login to my Passive Income Truly website. It's under the heading of blogs in here, but that's okay. It functions exactly like a website. I don't miss WordPress one bit. In other parts of this course, I'm going to teach you how to set this up, but since this is already set up and I'm just trying to be quick, I'm going to create a new blog post. And this is really the lazy way to do it. This isn't even a good cover. Please don't do what I'm doing. Please do, do better than this. I'm actually being very lazy about it. This is where I fail, and I hope that you won't do what I'm doing because uh, I mean this is okay but it, uh, again I can teach you later how to do this it's one of the best website platforms I've ever found it doesn't crash it's just I, I just can't say enough good things about it so when I actually go in here it's already got my picture because I uploaded it before and you want to use stuff like headline text Google likes that now I'm not gonna bother you with all this I'm gonna go back and fill this in later here's what i really want to show you see uh, yeah i'm going to fill this in later i won't put all of my captions in here but i'll probably i'll show you the finished product when i'm done but a big thing i want to show you and any website platform you're going to use should be able, should give you the a way to do this now every website platform is different if i were using wordpress or something else i'd probably click this embed because it gives me this whole iframe code that i'd have to copy and paste but the platform i'm using when I go to share, I just copy this link, just this one link, and I can even do a, a private link, which is how I'm running my course. I just do a, a YouTube video that I set to private, and you have to have the link to view. Okay, here I'm just going to drag a video, and since there's already that image at the top, I'm going to put it down a little further, which some people might tell me not to do, but it's okay. And it goes ahead, um, it gives you a standard video, but I'm going to copy, I'm going to control A and then control V and replace it. And there's mine. And I'm going to save it. I'm not going to publish this blog post yet, but I will soon. Okay, so the outcome of this, I'm back at my YouTube channel again. I created a blog post, which I already edited my video and put it right here. A link directly to it, a blog post about this video. And here's what the blog post looks like. It's nothing fancy. I didn't really put a whole lot. I just kind of want people to sign up for my free course, let them know about what I'm making money with, which I completely believe in, best thing I ever found. And um, that's it. And really the main reason to do this, besides just, you know, why you want to have a blog post, this is going to increase your Google rankings tremendously. Google loves YouTube. In fact, Google owns YouTube. Did another video about this. This will go far. Anytime you do a video, even if you don't do the whole route of, you know, like me, I'm going to make a book out of it too, but I'm mainly doing that just to, just to show other people. Um, I might turn into a variety of things and let you watch me do it so you'll know exactly how to do it yourself. Even if you don't do an ebook or a course or anything else, just a blog post, just YouTube and a blog post. And it's really simple to do because YouTube gives you the captions. All you have to do use some of them, clean them up a little bit, edit them, link to the video. Done. So this has been Liz Jones. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next session.